I say we try to, though, get him up on that side, right? Yeah, yeah, Okay. Sure. have one foot anchored where you can push away. I went to push away, my foot just slipped. And again, it was kind of right in my face. Oh, my God. I decided it was best just to go in and do a frontal catch on them, get a hold of those jaws, and slowly tape them underwater. It's a little more risky, but I thought it was the best thing to do to avoid this gator uh, doing any damage. All right, bring them over here. In the end, it's still the same thing. It's me and a gator in a pool, which is my favorite way to catch alligators. It's crystal clear. It's dangerous as well, but it's more just the challenge of you versus the alligator. Tell when you got him. Yeah. All right, hang on, honey, honey. I'm you know, glad I had Mike there to grab this alligator and pull him out. It might have been a lot more difficult to get him out of there. I could have picked him up, put him on the deck, but more than likely, he would have dove back in the water. I see where he's getting out. Let me grab that fence. When I was there working with Alan, I was working with someone that I'd never caught alligators with before. It was a whole new ball game. Yeah, I'm not the most experienced alligator catcher, and uh, Ashley is not either, but we're the only ones here, so we have to get the job done. We were working with a wiry gator. In this case, you're the fast one. It's very athletic, and, and it can get away from you pretty quickly because it's very small. I don't want to get bit. It's definitely a scary moment for me realizing either I do this right or I'm going to get bit. Whatever you do, Ashley, you can't land through them tracks. All right, Alan, throw that right over top of his eyes. Watch it, Alan. He's going to twist pretty tight. When an alligator rolls under you, that is definitely one of the most dangerous situations because the alligator can come up and literally bite you right in the face. The situation's the most dangerous thing that can happen, and fortunately, it turned out okay. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, don't, don't move. Let me try to get him. Hey, you're not going to like this, but step in the water straight up the bank right there. I'm going to lift his head up and gently put it on. Don't yank it till I get out of dodge. I couldn't noose him because there's so much debris, but I knew if I pulled my noose in, I could pick his head up. And then Jimmy could noose him and then let me get out of dodge. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Go, 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 go. He's big. I was kind of in shock because I didn't realize how big this alligator actually was. He just broke loose. I mean, he did this marlin jump shake. I've never really seen it. He came airborne. 
for a big alligator to do that, that's pretty impressive. I mean, he's a big, powerful animal. When the rope got on him, the gator started to spin quite a bit. I mean, he wasn't stopping. It took us everything we had to get him out of the water. Hurry up. Get on him. Just get on him. This is the size of an alligator that'll kill somebody. I mean, you fall in that pond, or a little kid jumps in the pond and land next to him, you're done. One of us fell or got stuck in the mud, and he spun. We're leaving here in an ambulance. You have to be more careful when you work with a crocodile because they tend to come after you. Whoa. You know, this croc was full ready to go. He was popping jaws, spinning. He was going crazy. A crocodile can spin faster and tighter than an alligator. If you're in the wrong spot, that crocodile can get you quick. Oh, wow, look at his injury he has. See it breathing? Uh, he actually looks like he might have uh, been shot in the face. It looks like it's starting to heal. So that's something you might want to look at when we get him back to the aquarium. Okay. All right. Scott, let's just get a rope on him and get him out of this mud. <laughs> You thought he was wore out. And then all of a sudden... Get him out, get him out, get him out. The battery's recharged. Typically, crocs don't have a lot of endurance. They explode big and then get exhausted real quickly. But this croc never gave up. OK, ready? Yep. OK, hey, pull him, Scott. OK, loosen up. You good. Okay, I'm gonna loosen up on the jaws. 